Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel, The Ebony Experience. Um, I just wanted to quickly record this video today because I've gotten the, the question a lot, um, why nursing and why an MEPN program, a master's entry to practice nursing program. So I did jot a few notes just so I could kind of keep track um, of just like the quick reasons why I chose a master's entry to practice nursing. So first of all, I'm sure many of you here may have already heard of the Accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing in ABSN, where you can end up with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Um, I think from my research um, previously before I started this program, I saw that many of them were uh, 12 months or 18 months programs. Um, so similar to the same length as master's entries program. And if you already have been here, you already know that I already have a bachelor's, master's and a doctorate. Um, and so that bachelor is in political science. I was poli sci pre-law, minor in public health, and then I earned my master of public health degree in health policy. And then I earned my PhD in health services research. So anyway, back to nursing, um, that's one of the primary reasons why I didn't view the Accelerated Bachelor of Science in nursing to be the best fit for me. Um, I do think they may be a better fit, this is my humble opinion, for those who are graduating undergrad and want to practice nursing perhaps before earning another master's degree or just because they want to be bedside nurses and practice in the field of nursing and they just graduated undergrad or maybe have a year to go and they're like I'm changing my mind I want to do something um, different here which is totally relatable to me because I changed my major three times in undergrad <laughs> I was originally a journalism major I I was wrote I wrote for my school newspaper in high school the Eagle Source um, eyes with pride <laughs> uh, go be for Eagles and I was actually the sports columnist so I love sports I played softball and I was banned in high school and um, I thought I was gonna be a journalist and do something with that I don't know switch my major I think my second or maybe middle way through my first semester, I think while I was registering for classes, I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't think I even stepped foot in a, no, I take that back. I think after the first week of classes, if I remember correctly, because this was 15 years ago, forgive me. Um, I I think I had realized I don't want to do this anymore. I mean, it was fun to write for my high school newspaper, but I was like, I don't know what I would do with this or what I really want to do. You know, kudos to journalists out there who are still maintaining their investigative uh, integrity and doing all the things in that field, but I just realized it wasn't for me. And so I changed my major to English. And then I was an English major for, I want to say for a year. So my first semester courses and second semester were more like the Carolina core. Um, and then I think I changed my major in my sophomore year. I was like, I don't see myself. Cause at first I started exploring maybe five year um, English and doing the five-year master of teaching program because I thought oh I can teach English you know I had loved poetry I had won writing and poetry competitions since I was a child um thought I'd minor in theater you know my love of the arts and theater no <laughs> um ended up poli sci pre-law minor in public health I was a peer health educator um with student health services since my freshman year and I got to organize like sexual assault awareness month domestic violence awareness month I got to do um, HIV AIDS awareness, like pass out condoms on campus on Green Street. Um, and so I really enjoyed being a peer health educator. I had to take that class my freshman year to be a certified peer health educator um, while I was an undergrad. So um, that kind of sparked my public health interest. So I was like, oh, poli sci my major, um, public health for my minor. And then I do some type of dual. At first, I think I thought I was going to do um, social work and law, um, kind of use my understanding of like domestic violence awareness and families um, and sexual assault awareness month, like kind of how we did campaigns on those. I was like, oh, I'm going to be a social worker and a lawyer and combine that somehow to help families and keep them healthy and safe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, and I think so. And I was a McNair scholar. And so... Um, 
Shout out to all my fellow Ronald E. McNair um, scholars. My youngest son is actually named after Ronald E. McNair. Uh, my dad's name is Ronald, but the middle name is Irwin. So my youngest son is Irwin Felix after Irwin McNair and my uh, dearly departed father-in-law, um, Raymond Felix. So anyway, <laughs> um, I knew I wanted to do something um, policy and law related and also health related. So one of my peers in the McNair program, while I was searching up MSW JD programs, I came upon the MPH um, JD. And so I did take the GRE and the LSAT and I got accepted to law school and grad school. So I was gonna do an MPH JD, but that's a story for another time. So I have gone off on a quite a long tangent. But um, so anyway, all of that to say a another bachelor's degree was not for me. That wasn't, um, in my opinion, for someone who was as far along in their career advanced as myself. Um, the other reason that I wrote down was the ability to earn uh, post-master certificates in different nursing areas. And so um, to me, the MSN was a smarter pathway to transition into nursing for me because if I did want to gain um, any advanced training, um, such as becoming an advanced practice registered nurse, or um, and mind you, this is just my brief research and uh, experience in the field of nursing. So APRN, Advanced Practice Registered Nurse, or a nurse practitioner. Um, and so there's various certificate programs that I've um, seen. And I'm again, I'm, this is just research. And like I said, this was an option um, that I chose. Another re Sorry, another reason that I chose this program because of this option to earn a post-master's certificate. Um, and so I saw maybe like there's like adult and gerontology nurse practitioner, uh, there's women health nurse practitioner, which I believe to all of my friends um, who are also in the LGBT community, I believe a reproductive health um, nurse practitioner should probably be the more appropriate uh, title because it's mostly reproductive, not just women's health. But anyway, that's again, <laughs> Another tangent. Just wanted to clarify, but that is the name. I think I've seen some programs that may have more um, affirming um, or non like uh, genderized um, titles. But yeah, so, but right now I think the title still is largely used um, women's health nurse practitioner. Um, and I think I've seen a oh, family nurse practitioner and then psychiatric mental health nurse. So I think those are the main four that I've seen. Um, which I already said, adult and gerontology, women's health nurse practitioner, um, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, and family nurse practitioner. I may be forgetting a few specialties. And I'm sure that there are nurse practitioners who may work in oncology and cancer care, or those who may work in um, peds, uh, pediatrics, or those who may work in um, neuro um, neurology, um, my mom's had two brain surgeries and had a fantastic nurse practitioner and PA um, along with a neurosurgeon on her um, neuroscience team. So I think that it's amazing when there's like such team based cross like um, discipline practice. So it was it was an amazing experience for her at that hospital system where she was. Um, so, yeah, so I'm not naming a conclusive or exclusive list. Of course, there may be others, like I said, I'm newer to nursing, um, but those are the ones that I'm familiar with. And I think most of them from what I've seen in research, they simply require a post-master's certificate. Um, you can go on, I believe some people may be interested in like a doctorate of nursing practice, a DNP. I'm personally not interested in that. I don't believe that will change. As I've already said, I've already earned a doctorate, <laughs> I have a PhD, um, and there is a doctorate actually of public health practice, which is a DRPH, and so I didn't go that route. Um, although I did um, apply to DRPH programs, now that I remember, when I applied to PhD programs, um, just to see what I'd, I'd get. But I'm glad, I don't think I actually got accepted. I applied to one. Yeah, I applied to three PhD programs and one DRP, D, DRPH program. And I'm glad I didn't even get accepted to that program because I don't think I would have made a good, I guess, practice solely person. So the thing I like about a PhD, which maybe I'll do another video on that, is that I am a research scientist first and foremost. Um, and 
we're theorizing and I mean it's a doctor of philosophy philosophy and health services research so thinking about innovative ways that I can um, reimagine healthcare costs utilization access uh, health equity um, and not that practitioners aren't doing that those type of things because something we always like to say is like practice informs policy kind of thing um, those of us that have been in the policy space for a long time um, so yeah, shout out to practitioners, totally. I think one of the things that we may tend to do differently, we do a lot more quantitative research and maybe even mixed methods. And I know a lot of practitioners maybe just do qualitative or simply mixed methods research. And so I think that's a big um, defining line there, but I knew for sure I did not want to practice for this degree. So I don't think the DNP, the Doctor of Nursing Practice is for me. I've had a few professors mention it. Oh, you may want to consider after you've done the MSN and I'm like, <laughs> can't stress enough how um, done I am with school. And I think being an academic, you're a lifelong learner. But for me, for right now, I am done. <laughs> yeah, I have another year and a half in this program. I'm coming up on finishing a year. Um, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, that was that was that. <laughs> I, I, I don't see it. And it'll be funny for those of you who are on this journey with me to check in with me and like, two or three years and be like, what girl, you in another program? What you? <laughs> I mean, but like I said, my, that's my second choice. So I said, the first thing was, I knew an accelerated Bachelor of Science Nursing for me. And then this one, the other thing, I, why I liked a master's entry to practice nursing is the ability to earn a post-master's certificate. And so that's my number two. Um, my number three is eligibility for funding. And so when I was looking at a accelerated Bachelor's of uh, Accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing, ABSN. When I was looking at those programs, um, I didn't see a lot of funding options available. Um, and I mentioned on my introduction video, I am in the nurse faculty program, which is funded. I did confirm it is funded through HRSA, the Health Services and Resources Administration, which they fund a lot of um, healthcare workforce programs, like for clinicians, um, for like including like physicians, I believe they include PAs and nurses. Um, and so this was one of them to increase, you know, address the nursing shortage. We need more nurse faculty to teach and train people to become nurses. And so um, that has, uh, I told y'all I'm at my host institution. I do not have to teach at this institution when I'm done, but I do have to teach within 12 months of graduating at an accredited college um, of nursing. So those are my three reasons why I chose a master's entry to practice nursing program. Like I said, the ABSN just wasn't for me, for somebody of, with my experience background. The ability to earn a post-master's certificate, maybe become a nurse practitioner or an advanced practice registered nurse, and also um, eligibility for funding because anybody who's been in the health professions know these are the most expensive degrees there are. Um, so that was, <coughs> excuse me, super important for me. Like I said, someone coming from several degrees already earned, um, it just made the most sense to go with a program that would be paid for. And so I'm not sure, like I said, did, this was like a cursory view of pro available programs. And so when looking at ABSN, and I believe it was my husband who actually found um, this master's entry um, program. So he got a job offer at the same institution. Um, and when I mentioned that I was dabbling, maybe considering doing a nursing program, because of course I was going to be doing a postdoc at the, the university, um, I was like, I wonder if they have a program available, um, or I could just consider doing an online program somewhere else and getting clinicals, maybe hours here in South Carolina. So like things like that. And then especially after seeing other people's videos about going to a brick and mortar school, and even if it was like hybrid, which this program kind of is, um, some there's some um, coursework online and then there's some like um, didactics in person and also in person clinicals. And so, and there's, you know, so they do a good job. Um, yeah, it's like didactics, lab, clinical. So they do a good job. And then some of it, some of it's online, like we have some lab simulations or clinical simulations online. And then we have stuff in person. So it's been pretty, I would say about 50-50, to be honest. And I think that is how they market it as mainly online. And obviously it's a clinical program, so it's a health profession, so you gotta do something in person. But it's been a pretty, pretty true to the description of being um, a 
like hybrid, um, primarily uh, online graduate degree program. Um, so yeah, so that's why I chose in a uh, master's entry to practice nursing uh, program. And I do hope that answers uh, people's questions um, about why I would choose an MEPN um, to enter practicing nursing. Um, so yeah, if you have any additional questions, maybe if I forgot um, another reason, I'll put it in the comments, I guess. I can't think of another reason at this moment why I specifically chose a um, master's entry besides the three that I already listed. So uh, thank you for listening and I hope you'll stick around. Let me know if you have any questions.